Hi guys, we can submit a form in Laravel and insert the data into a database without reloading the page. Using jQuery Ajax, we can do that. In this video, I will show how to submit a form using Ajax in Laravel and insert the data into a MySQL database. I will also show how to validate the form data and display validation messages. Let's develop this application using jQuery Ajax in Laravel 11 with MySQL database. I have a Laravel folder under app drive. I will create a Laravel project in this folder. Type cmd and enter. We will create a Laravel 11 project here. Let us give the project name as Lara Form Submit. You must install Composer and PHP on your local computer before running this command. I have XAMPP and Composer already installed in my local system. Enter. While the project is being created, let us look at the couple of views we will be using. So I have HTML design for two views. One is add item, another is list item and there is a style sheet. So add item is to add the item and list item is the list of items displayed in an HTML table. These are just HTML file only. There is no PHP code in it. So if you look at it, this is the add item.html. We are using bootstrap 5 and there is a form here. We are just using item name and the quantity. Similarly, list item is the list of items displayed in an HTML table. So we are displaying them in an HTML table. These are all static. Let us run it. So you can see this is the form. We have item name, quantity and a submit button. We will be submitting this form using Ajax. Now let us see if the project is created. So our project is created. This is the project folder, Lara form submit. Type cmd and enter and we will open this project in Visual Studio code. Code space dot enter. Okay, the project is open. So we'll just run it and see. So we go to command prompt and we'll start the server. PHP artisan serve. We'll run localhost 8000. Okay. So you can see we are using Laravel 11 and PHP version 8.2. We'll be using a database Lara form in MySQL and this database is empty currently. So we will change the environment file dot env. So by default it is SQLite. We will change it to MySQL and uncomment these lines and change the database name lara underscore form. Let us open the terminal. Control J. So we will create a model for the items table and along with that we will create the migration and a resource controller. So we will use make model command. We give the model name as item and give the option minus m, m for migration and rc for resource controller. Enter. So the controller model and the migration are created. So let's see. So we have item controller. We have item model and there is a migration file. Migration and if you see this create items. So let us modify this. So this is the items table and we'll add two columns here. One is item names and another is quantity. Item name and quantity. So item name is string and quantity is integer. Save it. Now we'll run the migration. PHP artisan migrate. Okay. So let's see the tables. So the tables are created. And our custom tables items is also created here. Open the items table. 
see the structure we have item name and quantity we will update the model now models item.php let us add the dollar fillable columns the column names are item name and quantity we will now create the views so we will have two views add item and the list item so let us first create the layouts we will create a layouts folder within layouts we will have header and footer and we will have a master layout also so first we will create the header we will copy the head section from the html file and put it in our header.blade.php now if you see the style.css we will create a css folder under public and within this folder we will keep our style.css and we'll change the path here so we'll use asset i'll close this and now we'll create the footer.blade.php so in the footer we'll have jquery library it is from the cdn we'll be using jquery script so we need this library and then we'll create the master layout will include the header so layouts dot header give body close html and within the body we'll use yield let us give main content and then add the footer change it to footer since we'll be using jquery script we need to use stack js also then we'll create the add item view and then we'll create an index view so in the add item so we'll use extend master layout and then use the main content section and then we'll just copy from the html file similarly in the index.blade.php also we we'll just copy it so our layouts are created and then we created add item view and then index view i'll close the terminal for the timing and then let us go to the controller item controller let us write the code for index so we'll display the list of items in the index view get the list of items dollar items equal to our model name is item and then use latest id and then get method we'll displaying the items in the descending order of id return view we'll use the index view here compact so we are getting the list of items from the items table and in the create method we will just use return view we'll use add item view so our view name if you see here add item view and index view so in the index method we are using index view and in the create method we are using add item view now let us add the routes comment this out and then route home page item controller index method and give a name let us give item dot list and copy this so here we will use the create method and give create item item dot create once the form is submitted we will use the post method and here we'll use store method of the controller so item dot store so we have created three routes here one is for the home page index view then we are using create method for the add item and then when the form is submitted we are using the post method here and calling the controller method store so these are the three routes now if i go to index dot blade dot php here let us add the route 
new item route for new item we have item dot create similarly in the add item let us change this so we'll be calling the index method here so it will be item dot list let us now test it okay so there is some problem here so we need to check the header so here we have problem close the bracket now refresh it now it is saying href equal to refresh it okay so the index view is working so let us click on new item okay so add item form is also displayed so our views are working let us work on the add item form so this is the form we will be submitting using ajax now we will work on the form submission so let us open add item so this is our form let us give an id of the form we will be using this id in our jquery let's give the name as item form we'll add the csrf token also if you see the master layout we have after footer we have stack js so we'll use push js here script so we'll use jquery ajax so this is the id of the form item form we'll use the submit event and then give the callback function and give the event parameter here first we will use event dot prevent default so we are preventing the default behavior of the form since we will be submitting the form using ajax and then give dollar dot ajax when the form is submitted we will use the store method of the item controller so let us write the store method first let us close this go to item controller and here store method so we'll first validate the form so we'll use dollar validator equal to use the validator class and then use the make method within make method give the input data dollar request give all so we'll getting all the input data from the form and then give the validation rules let us see the field names in the form we have item name and then quantity give the item name give required this is mandatory input field and then give quantity required then give numeric this is a number field and we will also use a range of values we give between 1 to 999 this should be always positive let us add the validator class we'll add the validator class here validator fails if validation fails then the fails method will be called if validator fails then return response we'll use json data give error and then we send the errors so use validator use the errors method so we are sending the errors here for each field the validation errors the fields and the validation error messages will be sent as response and if validation is successful we'll insert the data into the items table so we'll give item we'll use the create method and then give request all and then return we'll send the success message here form data saved successfully request all so from the store method either we are sending the errors or success so let us now complete the ajax here 
we'll give url we'll use a route here so we have the item dot store route here type is post give data so we'll use the form data here so we'll create a new instance of form data so we are sending the entire form data as data parameter give data type so this is the type of the response data so this will be json and then give content type as false we are not using content type here as we are sending the form data and then give process data this is also false we are telling jquery not to convert the form data into string and then give success in the success parameter we will write the function give response so in the success function we will check the response so if you see the store method either it will be error or it will be success so we'll check that if response dot error so this means validation fails else else data inserted displays success message when the validation fails we have to display the validation messages so let us first display the error here in the console so let us test it now we will refresh it now without entering anything let us click on submit let's see the console so nothing is there okay so let's see so let's see where is the problem see the item controller so here we have problem we need to remove the single quote here so now let us refresh now now click on submit without entering anything so let's see in the log you can see the validation error messages are displayed here so field name is item name and the validation message is given similarly for the quantity also same validation message is given so we'll use this key value pairs in to display the error message for each field name add item here comment out this now now for each key value combination we will display the error message for each field so we'll use jquery each method and it needs the if us needs the collection here or the array response dot error and then give a callback function which will work for each of the key and value combination we'll first search the field name in the form and then we'll add the validation message for that input field so here where input element equal to dollar document dot use the find method so if you see in the form we are using name equal to so we'll use this name equal to field name similarly for the quantity name equal to quantity so we'll search this field in the form and then we'll add a add the validation message name equal to we'll search for the name equal to plus key so basically we are searching for the name equal to field name once we get the field name we will add a span element to display the error message dot use the after method and give the value here so we'll use a span here use the value so if you see in the console.log this is the error message 
and this is an array so we'll use value 0 so we are using a span element here and that means we are adding the validation message so now test it so just click on it so you can see so the validation messages are displayed here we just need to change the text color here so we'll add a class here in the span class equal to let's give error message and we'll add that in the style sheet we'll give red color so now refresh it close this and just click on submit so the validation messages are displayed now now if I click on the submit button again you can see that error messages are being appended here so we need to clear the error message first so let us go in the add item so before calling the ajax we will clear the existing message since we added a class here we will search for this class error message class is there so we will search all the elements with the class error message where document dot get elements will use by class name give the class name here so this will give an array so we will check if error element dot length greater than 0 so if there is any error element we will use a for loop here error element dot length minus 1 then i greater than or equal to 0 and i minus minus then use the remove method let us test it now click on submit and then click on submit again give a value here click on submit so this is working fine give a negative number so our form validation is working fine so let us now write the code when the response is a success so this is the else condition so we will first reset the form let's get the id of the form here we will use the reset method and then we will display the success message so in the form we will add a div let's give a class show message give html we will use bootstrap alert here give class equal to alert alert success give response dot success so we are just adding a bootstrap alert here with the success message so let us test it so refresh it let us give test item name and give the value as 100 click on submit so we can see the successful message here form data saved successfully let us see in the database so this is our items table we can see data is inserted successfully if we add another one click on submit so the form is reset and success message is displayed so if you see in the database so the row is inserted in the database we will now quickly update the index view to display the inserted data so here if i click on cancel it is showing the static data here so let us update index view go to item controller index method we are sending items data here go here in that use for else keep only one row empty if there is no data no items to display and then close for else 
so if we refresh now so now we can see it is displaying the data which are inserted in the database item name is not displayed so let's see in the so here it should be item underscore name now refresh it okay so it's displayed correctly click on new item add another one so it is displayed here so data is displayed correctly and we are able to submit the data using ajax so our development is done we submitted the form using jquery ajax did the form validation displayed validation error messages and after successful validation inserted the data into the database we also displayed the data in an html table i hope you have learned how you can use ajax for form submission in laravel if you find it useful please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you have to add and update the data in laravel you do not need to create two separate blade files for create and update you can use the same form for both create and update watch the video on the screen to learn how we can do that in laravel thank you